Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spudknocker, as always. And today we're gonna to take a look at inputting uh, custom waypoints into the F-18C's INS system. This is important because if you load into a multiplayer server, usually they don't have pre-planned waypoints for you. And, and having some sort of waypoint navigational um, systems up and running definitely helps you find targets and make your way across the map. So it's high noon here at Laughlin Airport on the NTTR map. We're just doing a nice cross-country training flight in some VFAT 101 uh, Hornets. This is the training squadron at NES, MCAS Miramar now uh, in San Diego. I've spent a lot of time down in Miramar and in the San Diego area and have seen these guys fly around almost every single day. And so it's very cool to have these skins here in DCS World. I really like the aggressor skin. So I'm in the aggressor skin. We've got our wingmen over in the line skin. And uh, we've got some lunch at the little airport grill. Talked to some kiddos who were playing with the Model F-18. And now we're back in the cockpit to get started and head off to our destination, which is Creech Air Force Base. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump in the cockpit. We'll come up with a flight plan. We'll put it into the INS and then we'll get started. So here we go. So we're here in the cockpit and uh, we'll go ahead and bring up the F-10 map. Make sure we got our pen and paper out on our kneeboard here to write down the coordinates of our waypoints. So we're gonna fly VFR up the Colorado River here, up to about the Hoover Dam. So we'll go ahead and put a waypoint right here on the Hoover Dam, put it right over the bridge. So for our first waypoint, we're gonna go ahead and put uh, north 360048, 36.0048. And then we've got west. Now it's west because we're west of the prime meridian just uh, let you guys know. Uh, if you were on the Persian Gulf map or the Caucasus map, we would be east. Um, so that's just one thing to keep in mind, or you'll definitely screw up your INS and you'll have waypoints and who knows where. So we'll go ahead and put west, 114, 44, 31. 114, 44, 31. Perfect. Now I'll go ahead and move on to waypoint two. Now, our final destination is Creech Air Force Base, but we definitely want to avoid the high traffic areas of McCarran International Airport and Nellis Air Force Base. So we'll go ahead and fly roughly uh, north up to around right here. So we'll go ahead and just uh, put a waypoint in this general area. We'll go in waypoint two, we'll put uh, 36, 19, 25 north. And we've got, for our west, we've got 114, 53, 30. Alrighty, so then we're gonna kind of follow the bandit corridor, uh, that way bandits would fly up into the NTTR. We're gonna fly right down here, um, and we'll go ahead and put our next waypoint right here on top of the town of Corn Creek. That should work for us. That'll be waypoint three. And we'll go ahead and write down 36, 25, 20. North and west will be 115, 22, 55. 22, Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and fly up towards our destination of Creech Air Force Base and we'll get lined up with the main uh, long runway here. We'll go ahead and put a, a waypoint out somewhere out in this general area. So we'll put uh, waypoint four. We will put 36, 35, 01 north and 115, 34, 54 west. 54 west. And then we'll go ahead and put a waypoint right on top of Creech Air Force Base because if the air traffic controller tells us to go to a, another runway or something and this uh, lineup waypoint doesn't matter anymore. We wanna make sure we know where the, where the uh, airport is. So we'll go ahead and put waypoint five and we'll do 36, 3504 north and west will be 
115.40.36. Perfect. So we've got our five waypoints here. Should be pretty, um, pretty easy to navigate our way up there. So we'll go ahead and hop back into our cockpit and we'll get started. Uh, one thing to note, especially here on the NTTR map with uh, these Air Force bases, is carrier brakes are strictly forbidden at um, most uh, Air Force bases. Uh, you can do a more gentle and higher altitude brake that uh, US Air Force jets will use, or you can just simply do a uh, nice, long, straight in approach. The reason for that is there's multiple different types of aircraft, large aircraft, smaller aircraft, uh, high performance aircraft, low performance aircraft that are more likely to be around the area of an Air Force base, whereas a naval uh, air station is more likely to just be fighters, uh, high performance, fast aircraft. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started and jump in the cockpit. So we're in the cockpit of our F-18, of course. Um, it's very easy to uh, input our coordinates. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, go over that now. We'll, you can do that down on your MPCD here. However, you might get a little uh, crank in your neck doing that, looking down the whole time. And uh, we may as well just go ahead and do it on our DDI. So to bring up our HSI on our DDI, a little, little bit of alphabet soup there, we'll go ahead and hit our menu button twice, get to our support page. We'll go into our um, horizontal situation uh, indicator. And we'll go ahead and go into our data page. Waypoint zero is very useful because that's the um, place and space and time that our INS aligned. And that is going to be right here on the ramp. So if you're in a multiplayer server, you're pressed for time, you gotta get up there and help out your buddies. Um, you don't necessarily need to put in a waypoint for your home plate. You can simply recycle back to waypoint zero and find your home plate that way. However, that's not very useful if you're on a carrier because that carrier will have moved by the time uh, you can get back to waypoint zero. If you're airbase, if you're a Kuwaiti Hornet or a Finnish Hornet or an Australian, etc. Hornet, uh, if that moves, then you've got bigger problems than uh, trying to find it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get started here. So we'll go ahead and put in all of our waypoints to start off here. So we'll go ahead and waypoint sequence. We'll go insert, waypoint one, enter, Insert, waypoint two, enter, and so on until we have five waypoints set up down here. Now when we scroll through them, you'll see that they are zeroed out, meaning they're empty and waiting for coordinates. So we'll go to waypoint one and we'll go ahead and input that. So to input your coordinates, you wanna go up to the top left button of UFC for our upfront controller. We're gonna go into position N. First, we're gonna go have it written down so that'll make it easier. So first we're gonna go north, 360048, 360048, enter. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and hit west, 1144431. So um, that is kind of a far waypoint, but we are just gonna fly VFR up the uh, Colorado River. So we'll just be following the river, uh, Yoldi Wet Compass, um, and that'll be no problem. So we don't need to put waypoints along the river. So just kind of giving you my rationale of where I'm placing waypoints. Waypoint two, keep us away from uh, McCarran and Nellis Air Force Base, and we'll go ahead and hit position N again. Waypoint two is north 36, 19, 25. 36, 19, 25, enter. Now we've got west. 144-5330. Sorry, 114-5330. If you do mess up on your scratch pad here, you can always hit clear and to clear that number out and re-enter it, just in case you do mess up, which I almost did there. At point three, we've got north 36-25-20. Perfect, and we've got west, 115, 22, 55. Enter, we see those going in, no problem. Waypoint four, we've got north, 36, 35, 01. North, 36, 35, 01. 
36, oops, north 36, 35, 01, enter, and we've got west 115, 34, 54, enter, and we're going to go ahead and notch on up to our last waypoint, which is going to be north 36, 35, 04. Then we're going to hit west, 115, 40, 36. And you can see when we put these numbers uh, into our UFC and they pop up into our data page for our waypoints, they're not the exact numbers. They're kind of snapping to and rounding up or down to one of the grid patterns that are stored in the INS. Uh, functionally, when we fly over that waypoint, we're not going to notice the difference. It's close enough that we really can't tell uh, as the pilot flying over. Well, we would probably be offset to uh, north, south, east, and west too far anyway to really even realize. Um, and the distance is neg negligible. So we've got our waypoints put in. We could put in an elevation. However, in, in truth, we're flying VFR today. We've got a nice, beautiful day. And so we're not going to be worried so much about the elevation of that waypoint. We just need to have kind of a navigational idea of how to get around uh, Las Vegas Center, avoid any of that crazy traffic around the International Airport there uh, with all those vacationers, and uh, fly into our final destination of Creech Air Force Base. So we can go ahead and take a look at our... Actually, we'll go ahead and come out of our data page there. We go ahead and take a look at our sequence of waypoints here. And we can see, let's zoom in a little bit more, we can see that sequence of waypoints bringing us up the Colorado River here towards Lake Mead, coming out around Las Vegas and in towards Creech Air Force Base out here. Take a look at the scaling again. Yeah, we'll see that. So, that is basically how you put waypoints into the F-18C Hornet. It's not too difficult, and it's very uh, similar to putting them into the AVA b So if you can put them into one, you can certainly put it into the other jet. They are very in, uh, interchangeable types of skills. They're just certain little switchology things that are different. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you out in your next foray into multiplayer. And me and my wingmen are going to go ahead and get our training hours in. So. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and as always guys, please fly safe.